morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm Kelly Manzoni. For today's class, we are going to need our stick mobility bundle. So the two long sticks and one short stick. We'll also need access to a sidewall and a small pillow or towel that you can use for resting your forehead on, on the prone shoulder press. And then if you need it for your knees, you could have that nearby. We are still covering the arm lines. So that's the theme for this month. We're gonna get started with our short stick first. So have your two long sticks nearby. And if you don't own stick mobility, you could use a PVC pipe or wooden dowel, whatever you have access to. And I prefer that you try this class barefoot so you could really feel the connection with the ground. In our warm up to get started, I'm gonna go a little bit on a diagonal here. You're gonna stand a little bit wider than hip width Using your short stick, we're gonna raise the arms up overhead. Crush the stick, so you're gonna push both hands inward. Then we're gonna dive down, so we're gonna hip hinge forward, bend those elbows, sweep the arms forward, get a nice stretch through the back of the body. Now, as you come up, pushing down through the feet, squeeze the glutes, pull apart, and then inhale, start to crush the stick, hip hinge, Lean back, exhale, pull apart. Eyes lead the head. This is a great warm up here. Working through the spine and again, gripping the ground with the feet. So our feet are our first line of contact. And then as we lean back, again, we're pulling apart on the stick, opening up the chest, getting into the shoulders. Let's do two more, sweep forward, lean back, pull apart. One more, bend those arms and hinge, reach, pull apart at the top, and then come neutral. Taking the stick, I'm gonna face head on, so the camera flips me. Even though this is my left side, I'm gonna call it my right. We're gonna go into some circles. So I'm gonna bend my left arm, sweep it up and over the head, right arm elevates, slide it over to the left, and then right arm comes up overhead. In your horse stance, your knees are soft and you're gonna tuck your tailbone under. We're gonna do two more in this direction and then change direction. So now, parking it on your left hip, begin to sweep that right arm up, slide over to the right and back down. Good. So I like to practice diaphragmatic breathing Diaphragmatic breathing is when your mouth is closed and your tongue is resting on the roof of your mouth and you breathe through your nose, filling up the diaphragm. Now, if you'd like, you can participate in diaphragmatic breathing throughout class. Let's do one more here. And now we're gonna go into a few shoulder dislocates. I'm gonna go on profile once again. In your horse stance, you're gonna pull apart on the stick, activate that posterior line. Keeping the chin neutral and the rib cage closed, all fingers maintain contact with the stick. You only go back to what you can sustain. And as the stick begins to cross over the forehead, you're gonna push into the stick once again. Pull apart, chin neutral, all fingers stay connected, shoulders stay down and back, never working into pain. So I just want you to be really mindful of how your body feels today. Take some notes of how you feel in the beginning of class, and then you can compare it to how you feel at the end of class. Again, chin neutral. You'll notice that as you go through this set of shoulder dislocates, you may be able to go a little bit further each time as we're just kind of priming our body for our workout today. Pull apart, take it back, come forward, crush into the stick. Now, you're gonna switch your grip palms facing up. Elevate to about chest height, slightly under. And now this right arm is simply gonna start to come up and cross over that left arm. So I'm gonna go on profile here, soften into the knees. Take a moment, scoop out your center, drop your chin to your chest. You could also do this seated in a chair if you'd like. And then slowly come out of it, unwind. Now, left hand is gonna elevate and cross up and over that right side. Hold here, and again, if you'd like, you could hip hinge, soften into the knees, 
scoop out your center. You can even move your neck. A little bit of neck articulation always feels good. Grip the ground with the feet. Use your legs and core. Come up. Flip once again. Right over left. Hinge forward. And then if you'd like, turn your head to each side. Push into those feet. Transition up and over to the other side. Hinge. Breathe through the set. And then slowly come to stand and unwind. Now we're going to take our hands to the outside of our short stick. If you don't own one, you would just have an overhand hold on the longer stick. Right leg forward, we're going to kayak in a staggered stance, just to add a little bit of a stability challenge. So if you're having issues with balance, you could widen your split stance. So we're going to park the stick onto our right hip, proud chest, take a moment, engage the glutes, feel connected through the feet, and start to kayak forward. So I'm putting into the stick maybe about 20-30% tension and I can feel that stability challenge of that staggered stance. Let's go for four more here before we change sides and add on. One, set two, good, three, one more, complete it, step forward, now left leg is forward. Stagger that stance, right leg is back. We're gonna park it onto that left hip. Again, be mindful of your alignment. Focus on your breath. A Little bit of tension into the stick as we kayak forward. And in a moment, we're gonna reverse it, changing our stance. Let's go for four more sets. One, good. Two, three, we have one more. Once it's complete, step forward. Now, it's on the right hip, and we're gonna take that left arm up, back, and down. So sometimes people get a little bit confused with reversing the kayak position. So it's very reminiscent of backstroking in a pool. Now, our hips are gonna face forward right now, but in a moment, I'm gonna add a little bit of rotation through our upper body. So now adding on, I'm gonna look in the direction of the arm that is going back. Hips are gonna to continue to face forward. Let's go for four more singles. One, two, three, on four, come center. Take a moment, shake out your arms. Just to warm up our arm line a little bit more, you're gonna take your short stick and hold it right in the center. Extend your left arm, go into your horse stance. Now maintaining the height and length of your left arm, you're gonna roll the knuckles down, working into the wrist, and draw back. Good. Let's do three more here. Working into the wrist and forearm. Excellent. Come neutral and now hammerhead shark. Flexing from right to left. Maintaining that length. That shoulder is packed. You're engaging that lat rib cage stays closed. Take a moment, come center. Rotate the palm upward. Find that length. Rotate the palm down. Let's do two more. Rotate that palm up. Good. Rotate the palm down. Last one here. Rotate palm up. Right at shoulder height. Rotate the palm down. And then gently lower your arm. There's a fantastic series of quite a number of exercises with your arm extended in the sagittal and frontal plane. It is fantastic. So going over to our other side. So right arm is lengthened. Again, scan your body, roll the shoulder down and back, pack, engage that lat, other hand can rest on your hip. So working into our wrist articulations, this is my less dominant arm, it always feels a little different. I've come kind of boomerang shaped arms. <laughs> so my elbows are hypermobile too, which kind of affects me a little bit. Now coming neutral, hammerhead shark. Again, maintain that length, 
Try not to drop the arm any lower if possible. Really work through that wrist so we're starting to really wake up our arm line. Good, come center, rotate that palm up, excellent. Rotate that palm down. Nice and controlled, so try not to go too fast. Feel that engagement throughout the movement. One more, rotate the palm up, good. Rotate your palm down and then gently lower the arm. So we're gonna take the stick into our left hand and your knuckles are going to go to the base of your neck. We're stretching up the tricep. Your right hand is going to come down and create a little tension. So you're going to pull down with that right hand. As you see, that left elbow is facing upward towards the ceiling, getting that nice tricep stretch. Now, chin should be neutral, no tension in the neck. So notice if you're dropping your chin down and then sweep the right hand across, get a little bit of a side stretch, angle instead of that elbow falling forward, try to keep that elbow back, come center, continue to hold and breathe, and gently release that right hand, slowly take the left arm up and over. Transitioning to the other side, so as you can see, hand right at the base of the neck, chin neutral, Left hand catching the stick, creating tension, pulling down. Hold here for a moment, focusing on your breath. And then when you're ready, you're gonna sweep that left arm across. Think of lifting up and out of your hip line, up and out of the rib cage, angle, look upward towards the ceiling. And then come back to center, hold. And then gently release that bottom left hand, sweep the right arm forward. Take a moment, you're gonna put your short stick to the ground, we're gonna be using this later, and we're gonna transition over to one single long stick, going into bow and arrow, one of my favorite stick mobility exercises. We're just gonna do the traditional bow and arrow in our stance a little bit wider than hip width. Stick is gonna to go to the outside of the right midline of the foot, maybe about three inches or so away from the foot, left hand, palm faces forward towards the camera, your bottom right hand is gonna find the sticker. Now, oftentimes people press out with the arms first. We really wanna get into the lateral fascia line, so what we're gonna do is press out with the hip to the left, then push out with the arms and leverage that top left hand. This is why I want you to be barefoot. I want you to feel that connection through the feet. Take that tailbone under, open up the chest. So notice if you're scooping you're uh, concaving your chest and dropping your chin. From here, flossing. Pushing down into the stick, maybe 20, 30% tension. You're gonna sweep those arms forward onto the sagittal plane, and then back out onto that frontal plane. And notice the body is not moving, just those arms. So focus, again, on those lateral lines and in through the hip and shoulder girdle. Let's do one more forward, out to the side, pause here. Now angle, look upward towards the ceiling, and then slowly come out of your bow and arrow. Going up and over to our left side, same stance with our feet, right hand, thumb facing down, palm facing forward, bottom left hand, finding that sticker, right around hip height. Leading with the hips first, pressing out with the arms second, Leverage that top arm, engage that lat. Hold, get your position first. Then we add on by flossing, taking the arms forward, and then back out to the side. So in your flossing, again, please don't work into pain. Be mindful that you're not caving in on yourself. You could do just an active hold if the flossing is uncomfortable. Pause here, angle, look upward towards the ceiling. Drop that inside left shoulder and then slowly come out of your bow and arrow. You're gonna take your stick now to your lower back. Palms are gonna face forward, and our stance, again, is slightly wider than hip width. Hip hinging, softening into the knees, we're gonna hook the right side up and over to the left. It can stay just about center. I wanna focus on the front line 
for a moment before we continue on to our strength portion. So your bottom right hand is holding the stick. We got that top left arm is our focus. Now, going into our neck articulation. So if you can breathe through the nose, I want you to angle, look upward towards the ceiling to your left, and then exhale down to the floor. Inhale, look upward towards the ceiling, and then downward towards the floor. Push into the feet, release that right side, stay in that hip hinge, sweep that left arm across to where you can comfortable. Again, we're staying nice and square. Now we're focusing on that front line. Angle, look down to the floor, upward towards the ceiling. Good. Let's do one more. And gently release that left side, push into the feet, and slowly come to stand. Before we get into our strength work, we're just gonna take a moment to address our feet, even though our main focus is our arm line. We're gonna, I'm gonna go with, on a diagonal here. Take outside foot, so this is my left, and we have our hands stacked in our stick mobility horse stance, spread out those toes, releve, really stretch the fascia in the bottom of the feet. Transition up and over to the right side. Control. Again, proud chest, driving down into the floor, maybe about 20, 30% tension. Let's do one more on the right. Then take a moment, start to circle outward with the left. Now, oftentimes people start to initiate the movement from the hip. We want the movement to come from the foot angle complex, not the knee or a hip. Transition, circle outward on the right. So you're gonna feel that pressure go from the big toe outward towards the pinky toe. Excellent. Release, going back over to the right side. Now we're gonna go inward. And then change, inward, excellent. Release, shake it out, stretching out the top of the foot, creating some space in above the ankle, getting a stretch into the tibia. So left foot is gonna face down, and then you're gonna kind of allow a little bit of pressure, softening into that inside right knee. Breathe, scoop the tailbone under, Hold, love this stretch, especially if you're a runner or if you play racket sports. I've been doing a little bit of running, so this feels wonderful. And transition to the other side, I'll go on a diagonal here, top of the right foot down, scooping the tailbone under, breathe. So you're gonna, again, create space right into that ankle and gently release. So we're gonna now go into our strength portion. We're gonna need our two long sticks and we're working with the leverage of a side wall. So I have a towel here just to protect the furniture. You're gonna place them about shoulder width apart and using the top of the stick. So you're gonna press the center of your palm into the top of the sticks to create some tension. I'm gonna walk in just a little bit Feet are almost touching, packing those shoulders, and with your tailbone, instead of having an anterior pelvic tilt, much like a standing plank, you're gonna have a slight tuck of that tailbone zipping up the anterior line. As we come forward, we're gonna drive down tension into the sticks, light up the front of the body, begin to come forward, pause, Pushing into the wall, breathe, right? Maintain that plank position. And then inhale, exhale, push back to start. We're gonna do four more, nice and slow and control. So standing tall, watch the alignment with your pelvis, push down into the sticks, begin to come forward, arms out to your side. Now, depending on your mobility, your chest could come further forward. Hold in here, creating that tension. Core zipped up, inhale, exhale, begin to come back to stand. 
Let's do three more. Eyes forward, hinge, breathe. Push into that wall. Now I'm adding a little bit more press, probably about 60-70%. Inhale, exhale, come back to start. So you're going to really feel the chest light up. Let's go for two more. Scan your body. Have your proper setup first. Coming forward, push into that wall. Hold. Breathe. My arms are shaking. Inhale, exhale. Come back up to start. Let's do one more. Give it all your effort. Find your focal point. Again, scan your alignment. Chin neutral. Now I'm looking down on that diagonal, hold and push into the wall. Let's hold four counts. So one, hold two, hold three. Now on four, keep that tension. Inhale, exhale, come back up to stand. Well done. Now we're going to close our grip right around the stick. I'm going to step forward with my left leg and I'm going into a lunge position. We're going to overhead press as we lower into our lunge. Now, it may take a one or two reps to kind of find your position. I'm pushing down into the stick 70%, 80% straight. Inhale, exhale. As you lower, you're going to press those arms up overhead and then slowly pull the arms back into shoulder, uh, in line with your shoulders. So here we go, we're going to do four more here, inhale, exhale, slowly lower and press, pause. As you come up out of your lunge, pull the arms to the shoulders, inhale, exhale, press up overhead, hold, slowly come out of it, arms back in line with the shoulders. Two more, inhale, exhale, drive those arms upward. Keep pushing down into the sticks, pull. We got one more. Inhale, exhale, lower into your lunge. Now hover that back knee off the floor, push down into the sticks, hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, slowly rise, and draw the elbows in. Take a moment, step back, shake it out. So we're gonna do one slow controlled run. Uh, with the right leg forward, three at an even tempo, and the last one slower. So again, you may need to adjust your alignment. Proud chest, inhale, exhale, begin to drive upward, lower, scan your body, pack those shoulders. As you come out of it, pull the elbows in by your side, pack the lats, or excuse me, pack the shoulders, and engage your lats, here we go. Inhale, exhale, press. Keep pushing down into the sticks. Slowly come to stand. Good. Three more. And on that last one, we're going to have that active hold. Pull. Good. Breathe. Two more. Create that tension. Use that side wall for leverage. Now on that next one, all your strength, 70, 80%, push. Hover that back knee, keep driving down the cystics, hold four counts, hold one, two, three, on four, slowly pull elbows in, hands to the shoulders, step back, take a moment, shake it out. Now we're gonna work into a hip hinge in row. We did this in last week's class. So take a moment for your setup. <clears throat> if you need to grab some water, please grab some water. So our feet now are hip width apart and we're turning away from the wall. On our hip hinge, which I'll demonstrate, I'm going to be pushing back with my arms. So those shoulders once again are packed, those lats are again engaged. So I use this for a deadlift primer, and there's great drills for also priming for a kettlebell swing. So we hip hinge forward, drive back into the wall, 70, 80% strength. Do a row, pull those elbows in, keep the tension, lengthen those arms, inhale, exhale, 
drive up. Okay, so we're going to do five more. Proud chest. Hip hinge, lift the belly, length through the back, push into that wall. Row, elbows in by your side. Feel that engagement once again through the lats. Deep breath, inhale, exhale, drive up. Four more. Hinge, keep pushing back, lift the belly. Row, breathe, lengthen the arms once again. Inhale, exhale, drive up. Three more. Hinge, create more tension. This should be challenging if you're doing it correctly. Inhale, exhale, drive up. Last two. Hinge, pull. Lengthen those arms. Pause here. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Hinge, lift the belly. Row, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Stay engaged in those lats. Lengthen the arms. Inhale, exhale, drive up. Well done. So now we're going to face back in, going into our tricep exercise. Then we're going to need that towel or pillow for our prone shoulder press. So I'm going to face inward because the sticks are quite long for the space I have. I'm going to come forward quite a bit here. So you're on your knees, you're going to scoop your tailbone under. I'll do a little demo. So similar to the position we were in when we did our chest press, we want that kind of plank position with our upper body as we are hinging forward. So pack those shoulders, tailbone tucked, and I'm going to bend the elbows. Inhale, exhale, drive back to straight arms. So you can play with the position on how far away you need to be from the wall. Here we go, we're gonna do a set of five. So light up the front of the body. Core is helping protect our position. Press back. Inhale, now I'm driving down tension into those sticks. Press back, good. Three more, chin neutral. Work for it, squeeze, good. Two more, hug those elbows in, inhale, exhale, press back, last one. Elbows bend, chin neutral length, inhale, exhale, and press back. Good, well done. So we're gonna take our short sticks to the side for a moment, I mean our long sticks, I apologize, and grab our short stick. We're going to go into a set of straight leg dead bugs adding the element of our arms before we go into our prone shoulder press. So I've got my puppy. I think she's going to come in. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me go sideways or on a diagonal here so I could fit, make sure I have clearance. Okay. So you have your short stick. You're going to extend the legs with flex feet up and uh, above the hip line. Arms are going to be above the chest line with the short stick. Your head can be down. I like to keep my head elevated. So we are going to pull apart onto the stick as we lower the right leg and the arms go back. Then as we come up, crush the stick, leg back in line above the hip. Then you do the opposite side. Pull apart, lowering the left leg. Inhale, exhale, crush the stick. You have that slight tip up of the tailbone. Lower right leg, pull apart on the stick. Crush the stick, squeeze as you come up. Good. Again, pull apart, flex, keep that rib cage closed, squeeze into the stick. We're going to do four more. Right leg lowers. Good. Keep that connection. Mid back, lower back. Pull apart, inhale, exhale, squeeze into the stick. Last two, right leg lowers, crush, squeeze as the arms come up. Pull apart, create that tension, inhale, exhale, right above that chest line, and then lower. Take a moment, short stick to the ground near you, and just with your feet flat, windshield wiper your knees, 
eyes in the opposite direction. Okay, so we're gonna slowly roll up. Going into our prone shoulder press. I absolutely love this exercise. Now, I have excessive <laughs> range of motion in my shoulders, so I have a tendency to do this exercise in my end range. So I'm gonna try to control how far back I go. I want you to be very mindful of any discomfort you have in your shoulders. So towel is gonna to be for your forehead or a short pillow. Because I'm gonna be talking to the camera, I'm not gonna be lowering my forehead as much as I would normally if I was performing this without speaking on camera. So you want enough space, I just kind of got to wiggle my lower half out of view, where your legs could be in a comfortable V. Now we want to be mindful of the position with our lower back. So we want to take compensation patterns out. So when you are in this position, you're going to engage your core, have a slight tuck, and you're going to press your hip bones down into the floor so you have length through the lower back. Now. We have short stick in front, pillow for the forehead. I'm going to demonstrate one, then we're going to do three collectively as a group. So you're holding the stick overhand hold. Be mindful of breaking in the wrist. Try to keep it a nice clean line. As your head is down, scan your body. You're going to have that tuck. Lift the uh, belly so there's length through the lower back. Now I'm going to pull apart or on the stick. Elevate the arms, pull back. So I'm not going as high as I normally would. My head is going to be down here. And then I'm um, again here engaging mid trapezius, engaging those shoulder blades and lats, and then push into the stick as the arms come forward, and then gently lower back down to the ground. A great partner drill is if you have a friend with you and you struggle with this. You can use the two long sticks, create the train tracks, resting the sticks on your shoulder, stand in front of your friend, and have the person glide the stick mobility, the short stick, up the ramp and then back. Okay, so let's do a set of three. Scan your body, length, pull apart, elevate, pull, draw back, engage, squeeze, maintaining that height Arms come forward, start to crush into the stick, and gently lower. Okay, so we're going to do two more. Pull apart on the stick, elevate the arms, draw back, squeeze, keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Start to lengthen your arms, push into the stick, and gently lower. Good. Let's do one more here. Rest your forehead, length through the neck, scan your body. Elevate the arms, pull back, squeeze. Now hold here four counts, hold one, hold two, hold three. Now on four, draw these arms forward, push into the stick, and slowly lower down to the floor. Love this prone press. Fantastic for getting uh, somebody. It's, it's very similar to like a, a lat pull down, but we could really focus on mid trapezius working into the shoulders, watching the alignment with the tailbone and the spine. So, well done. Now we're going to get into our stretching. We're going to use the uh, pillow or towel. I had a glider, but my puppy took it. I don't know where it went. Uh, coming into a kneeling position, we're going to focus on our T-spine. So our knees are wider, than, slightly wider than hip width. I create a triangle, toes are touching. Taking the short stick, palms are facing up. I'm going to come forward, left side over to the right, and now I'm going to slide, and at that same time, center the shoulder, and lower the head. So this is a little short for me. I'm just going to push into the top of the stick. As you can see, I have that funky bow and arrow or bow shaped boomerang arm here. Hold and then slowly 
come out of the stretch. We're going to do one more on this side. So if you didn't quite get it the first time, you have another opportunity to do so. So stick to the left, find that nice length, press over to the right, begin to lower that shoulder, tailbone stays high, hold here. Breathe, we're gonna stay in it, four counts. Hold one, hold two, hold three, and on four, slowly come out of the stretch. It does work better with a glider than a towel, but making do with what we have. <laughs> so right side over to the left, hook, glide. You may find one side is easier. This side is a lot easier for me. Hold, we're holding four counts. Hold one, two, maintain your breath, three, on four, start to reverse it, slowly come out of it. So if your shoulder does not come to the floor, that is okay. Use that leverage of this stick. So right side over to the left, center that shoulder. Try not to collapse down into the stretch. Hold here four counts. Hold one, continue to breathe. Two, hold three. Once we complete four, Start to reverse it and slowly come out of the stretch. Good, well done. Take that short stick to the side, grab one long stick. My favorite, I love this one. I did it, I believe, last couple classes, but back by popular demand. Uh, so I'm gonna take this stick and my top uh, I know the camera's going to flip me. Sorry, I'm getting confused with my right and left. But this is my left leg on top. Stick is going to be on top of my right foot. And then I'm going to hold with the right hand. That flex foot is driving upward into the stick. And this hand is pushing down into the stick. So I'm going to rest my head on my bicep here for a moment. You could use your towel or pillow nearby if you need. Now, eyes leading the head, I'm going to open and look back as far as I can. So this is such a good T-spine stretch. You're going to also get into that front line, the arm line of that back left arm, and then slowly close. Deep breath. Inhale, exhale, open, Look back, hold here. We're gonna do one more. Slowly come out of it. Good. One more. Today we're just gonna open and close instead of doing that big sweep. Now hold here for counts. Kind of let your body melt into the stretch. And then when you come out of it, keep that tension on the stick. Nice and slow. And release. Then we're going to go up and over to the other side. So we have the stick now onto the left foot. That right leg is going to go under. Left, oops, left leg is the bottom leg. Right leg is the top leg. Lengthen that left arm and center your right arm. Begin to open. Look back behind you. Again, you may find one side is easier than the other. Keep the feet flexed. Good. Let's do two more. Push into the stick. Hold here. Slowly come out of it. We're going to have a longer hold on the last one. Eyes leave the head. Now, again, keep tension on the stick. Relax into the stretch. Stay here, four counts. Hold one, two, three, on four. Slowly close and release. Well done. So not an arm line exercise, the next stretch, but I did have some requests to bring in the straddle split. So we'll add that into today's class.
If you need the towel or pillow to sit on, you could do so now. That could help if you don't have the mobility to get into a comfortable straddle. So you're gonna flex your feet, take the stick into the arch of the feet, sitting nice and tall on your sit bones, shoulders down and back. Cross one hand over the other. Begin to flex and soften those elbows, draw in. When you're here, depending on how you feel, you're gonna hinge forward slowly with the chest. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, point. So the toes or the arch of the foot wraps over the top of the stick and you have the option to continue to hinge forward. Take another breath, flex. So you start to kind of widen out a little bit depending and you'll notice length through the spine, chest stays open, shoulders down and back. Another breath, so deep breath in. On that exhale, fold the foot point, press down mid arch, hinge further forward, hold here four counts, one, two, three, on four, release, come upright, take a second. Your right hand is going to cross over the left, left hand gently coming to the floor behind you, proud chest, and then look behind, cross, left hand over right, sit nice and tall, right palm to the floor behind you, just a gentle rotation so you don't have to over rotate, hold here, and release. Take a moment, stick down, Hold on to the uh, um, underneath of your knees, slide in, shake it out. Good, okay, coming to stand with our two long sticks. Well, coming to kneeling before we stand, I should say. You're gonna take the same position we did for our tricep and our T-spine stretch. So knees are wide, toes are together. Angle the bottom of the sticks inward towards you top of the sticks outward. Pressing down into the floor about 30%, 20%, you're gonna hinge forward and keep the tailbone suspended above the heels. Drop the chest, take a moment, close your eyes and breathe into the stretch. So you're getting into those lats that we worked, hold, and then inhale, exhale, scoop, little spinal wave around, and come back up to start. We're gonna do one more here. Hinge forward, begin to drop the belly gently. Arms stay lengthened, tailbone suspended above those heels. Drive down into the floor, Relax into your stretch. Take a moment, close your eyes. And then slowly scoop the tailbone under. Inhale, exhale, and roll up. Good. Step left leg forward, anchor with the ball of the right, come to stand. We're gonna open out into a wider position here. So heel toe out, be mindful of your hips. Sticks are gonna be leveraged into the inside arch of your feet. Both arms are gonna cross over towards your right. Then you're gonna take a significant bend into that left knee. Instead of going forward into the ball of the foot, pull your body weight back. And then you're gonna allow that left shoulder to drop downward towards that knee angle, look upward towards the ceiling. Take a moment, breathe into the stretch, rip the ground of the feet, almost like you're pulling apart the floor below you. Slowly come to stand, and then sweep your arms over now to your right, or sorry, to your left. Significant bend into that right knee, pull that body weight back. 
Now that right shoulder is gonna dip down, angle, look upward. So with that left foot, I want you to get that nice stretch through the ankle so toes are facing forward. Pause here and then grip the ground. Slowly come out of your stretch. So that was today's class, heel toe and gently. Thank you for joining me. This class will be uploaded later to YouTube and be sure to check out their podcast, Movement Made Better. There's an awesome list of phenomenal guests. I'm Kelly Manzoni at Kells Bells 88. I'm always open to feedback, so you could reach out to me directly or to Stick Mobility, and I'll see you next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thanks again. Enjoy your day.